Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, a quick take of our broadcast this evening. Uh, several things that are going on, one to bring to your attention. Uh, one we've already shared with you, the U.S. warship, the uh, George W.H. Uh, Bush, uh, anchored off the coast of Israel, right off of Haifa right there. This is one of the super carriers that uses two uh, nuclear-powered engines on this particular carrier. Uh, what's really interesting, though, this carrier here has really got a lot of serious allies nervous in the region there. And in fact, it was from this very carrier uh, that the uh, Sukhoi-22, the Syrian-owned Sukhoi-22, or the Su-22, was shot down over Raqqa. Uh, as we already know, Russia has stated that any, any, any uh, of the U.S. coalition forces that are flying west of the Jordan River would be considered targets, which I kind of find it interesting because the ship has been moved to the Mediterranean to still carry out these uh, exercises, which would be naturally west of the Jordan River. Uh, we also know that uh, President uh, Trump's administration have also stated that they would hold Russia responsible for any possible chemical weapons attack that may be carried out by Syrian's President Bashar al-Assad which definitely puts Russia right in the crosshairs of a, no doubt a global conflict if that were to happen. I don't think that President Bashar al-Assad will be using chemical weapons, but you know, the proxies that are fighting out there are not the ones that are allied to Assad, but those that are allied with other coalitions, we might say, no doubt may very well do just exactly that. And this is another interesting story here. You probably got a nice media block out in America, though. In fact, if I say the name Seymour, well, blank, blank, Hirsch, uh, you, this video may be blanked out as well. You may not see that on your screen very well because I notice our, when we use our iPhone for the quick takes, it doesn't come out as clearly on the screen and behind. But uh, an article that came out on a German newspaper uh, about Seymour Hirsch, he brings out an overwhelming amount of evidence that debunks the idea that Bashar al-Assad used chemical weapons on his own people back on April the 4th. In fact, pretty much ludicrous when it comes to it. Uh, very interesting, it says, uh, since the German Daily Die Welt published Hirsch's article titled Trump's Red Line on June 25th, its contents have been subject to a total blackout by major newspapers, broadcasts, and cable news networks in the United States. Hirsch's account makes clear that not only was there no objective evidence to back up Washington's charges of a chemical weapons attack by the Syrian government on the town of uh, Khan Shakun, the fact that there was no such attack was known to the U.S. military intelligence apparatus even before the cruise missile strike was ordered, he states. Well, they did a blackout. You never know. Israeli news may challenge that blackout and tell the rest of the world the truth in America on national television. The available intelligence made clear that the Syrians had targeted a jihadist meeting site on April the 4th using a Russian-supplied guided bomb equipped with conventional explosive, Hirsch wrote. Details on the attack, including information on the so-called high-value targets, had been provided by the Russians days in advance to the Americans and allied military officials of Doha, whose mission is to coordinate all U.S. allied Syrian and Russian Air Force operations in the region. That kind of lets you know that I guess the U.S. coalition had some inside information. So if you would like to kind of let a sarin bomb loose to make it look like Syria did it, you got the intel to be able to do so. Very damaging evidence, if you ask me. Uh, also, a little bit of a... Uh, a blunder for Russia. They have been uh, test firing again one of their uh, one of their latest nuclear bombs there that they, that they use there. Uh, it didn't go so well, and in fact, the success rate of their uh, ballistic missiles that are fired from their submarines, the Volva class missile, has got a very high failure rate. Uh, very high. In fact, uh, I believe it is one in nine missiles that is launched doesn't hit its target or explodes in midair. That was the case again with another one that Russia just launched here recently. Two went off to go for their target, and of course one exploded in midair on its way out. Didn't do so well. Not very good for Russia to see that their, uh, their 
most important endeavor for their submarine's ballistic missile system is not working very well. Uh, also being reported all across the United States from CNN, Sputnik News, RT News, multiple pedestrians injured after being hit by a car at a Boston Logan Airport. It was a taxi cab, no less. Several people are injured after getting hit by this car near the taxi line at the Logan International Airport in the city of Boston, Massachusetts, said police in a statement on Monday. There's not any, much more information about it, whether or not it was intentional terrorist attack or whatever, can't really say. Ron Paul also, he is concerned that we are headed towards a police state, well, martial law, actually. Listen to what Ron Paul has to say here. On to the militarization of the police force and in combination, you know, with the federal government. And that is, uh, that means that the stage is further being set for martial law. And uh, we have generals in charge of the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, I expect that we're going to have more violence in the cities. I think this is just the beginning of, of what they're seeing in Chicago and Detroit. And if you look at the recent news, how many pension funds are totally bankrupt and the states are bankrupt. And I think it was in uh, uh, Connecticut where... Ron Paul not painting a very uh, good picture for the United States or the U.S. economy. In fact, a very bleak picture uh, indeed. In fact, uh, another thing, uh, Ron Paul, that I really appreciate about him is his stance for President Bashar al-Assad, bringing out the truth, as we have done here on Israeli News Live, that this man has certainly been set up by the world bodies. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom, and God bless you, and thank you for watching.